Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have been covering this owl for quite some time on the channel and I already have covered it in various videos. For this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate this owl framework with model context protocol. I will also be covering this model context protocol in great detail in the coming days, so stay tuned. Now, OWL is a cutting edge framework for multi-agent collaboration and we already have seen it working with various examples where you can use OWL to do online search or you can even handle internet or local videos, images and audio data. You can automate your browser tasks with it, you can parse the document, you can execute code and it also integrates with a lot of other toolkits such as Google Scholar, Image Analysis, Semantic scholar and the list goes on and on it's a very active project which is evolving quite rapidly as far as model context protocol is concerned it is in very simple words a way to integrate your large language model with external data sources that data source could be anything it could be a database it could be a flat file it could be some unstructured data some structured data and just Think about it as a standardized interface between your external data and your large language model. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to first install OWL and then we will see one example as how you can use this OWL library to integrate with a model context protocol server as MCP servers are uh, broad and wide. So you can integrate any MCP server with this OWL library and that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. Let me take you to my virtual machine where I'm running this Ubuntu system and I will be using OpenAI's model. So you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your um, key from there which is API key and that is a paid option. So let me first create a virtual environment with Conda and I'm just creating it with Python 3.10. And now let's git clone the repo of OWL and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And now let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And it is going to take a minute or so while that happens. Let me also introduce you to our very good friends at iGenPot who are sponsoring the video. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. And now we need to set our API key so I'm just going to export it in my environment or you could even put it in your .env file. So let me set my own key and then clear the screen. Next prerequisite which we need to have is to have Node.js installed so I already have it. So you can see that all node npm and npx all the package manager and stuff is already installed if you don't know how to do that it's very simple i already done a very simple to follow video on the channel so just search with node installation and you should be able to find it okay so now it's time to check out our example so what we are going to do in this example we are going to use their pre-built code where it is demonstrating how to use this model context protocol with camel agents for advanced information retrieval and processing tasks and we will be using the browser automation library playwright and this playwright library has been sort of encapsulated in the mcp server so we would need to install that first the mcp server i mean and the installation is very simple normally we install these mcp servers uh, and in this case a playwright one with npm so let me run this command And the MCP server is installed and now we need to install the play uh, rights dependencies here just press Y so at this point everything is installed before I run this application and show you how MCP server works with OWL let me show you the code where they have integrated it so I'm just going to open the repo in my VS code and this is what this code looks like on the right hand side we are importing all the libraries and then all we are doing here we are using this our library 
to create these models and primarily if you just quickly scroll down this is where we are asking it to do an academic report about Andrew and G including his research direction published paper and all that stuff and this is where playwright is going it is automating the browser task to search for it and then use its tools with the models and then return us the result that is all it is doing now all that playwright stuff that is all happening through model context protocol we don't really worry about any of its implementation detail which are encapsulated and that is what it is happening here and the model is being is gpt 40 and OpenAI, you can use various models with OWL and I already have done videos with Olama and with Anthropic so feel free to check it out even with DeepSeek. Okay, so let's go back to the terminal and run this thing. So let me clear the screen and this example Python code is in the examples directory so let me run it from there. It is running, let's wait for it to initialize. Okay, so it gave me the error and this error is that because my api key is not correct so let me give it the proper api key i think i am using the wrong uh, open as api key and there you go you see so i have used the correct key here it has opened the browser and i'll just take you above so just doing a lot of things so this is where it is running these are my rules that it is just checking through that mcp server what exactly it needs to do it is then using the tools through that model context protocol and you see that it also launched the browser it is doing the summary this is about Andrew ng a lot of web searches are being done be aware of the cost too because this is all making api call sometimes you also might face some of the throttling but so far all looks good you can see that the report is really good and of course you can just replace that prompt which i showed you in the code and you can just search about anything so if I just scroll through all of these web searches and all of this, what this OWL has done, where multiple agents have collaborated and they have used this model context protocol in order to fetch that data. And once the data is fetched, you see, now it is preparing the report. This is a draft. And then this is a final report where it has given us a very, very grounded, very targeted, focused report as per our prompt all the published papers and stuff great stuff and as i said this really owl plus mcp makes it very modular very easy and in most of the time you really don't have to worry about how the mcp server has been built all you need to do is install owl or um, any other such tool and then just point it to the server of your choice and then use it that's all you need to do you have your llm it is using that mcp behind the scene so this is what this all fuss about mcp is about and i will makes it really easy to do this integration let me know what do you think if you're interested in learning more about owl these are the videos which i have done also their sister project camel um, check it out let me know if you have any questions if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching